Hey guys, this is Jeff and yesterday YouTube rolled out a brand new look on their website and mobile apps. There were a lot of changes that were made and also some new features that you might not know about. Before we begin, I just wanted to let you all know that we will be collecting donations at the links in the description below for all of the Hurricane Harvey victims who have lost their homes and still need food, clean water, and shelter as they try to recover from this awful disaster. So check out the link in the description below where you can learn on how you can support. So back to the YouTube app. If you are on an iPad or iPhone, you can head over to the App Store and if you have the YouTube app already downloaded, it should show up under your Updates tab. After updating, you will immediately notice that the app icon has most definitely changed and it's a little bit more noticeable as there's a lot more white that sort of pops out at you. It's not a big change from the previous version, but it is something new and you can't complain about that. There aren't any changes to the force touch menu when you perform that action, but I suspect that in the future there might be some additions to that menu like favorite channels or maybe even playlist options. I'm not completely sure, but force touch menus have most definitely been evolving and I think YouTube will take some time with their own app as well. Immediately when you open up the app, you'll see that things have most definitely changed and it presents with a more modern and sleek UI. Up at the top, you'll notice that there's a new YouTube logo, which is this way across all mobile and desktop devices. This new logo is in a different font, which looks way more modern than the old one. And YouTube also added their own logo, which sort of pops out at you on the left of the text. That wasn't there before, and honestly, the logo in the previous version looked a bit boring, so I'm glad for this change. Either than that logo change, functionality-wise, the YouTube app operates the same. There are some UI changes, which I mentioned before, which does change the look of the app, but there aren't too many big changes, which totally change the experience of the YouTube app. As you may have experienced, YouTube did change their notifications tab on the bottom in the previous versions of this app. It's still the same here in this version as well. You have two tabs, one for sharing videos with your friends and the other to view notifications like comments, likes, or any other interactions with content. So either than those changes, the design has pretty much stayed the same. There are however some hidden features that you maybe don't know about. They've been around for a while now, but it seems that a lot of people kind of pass over them and don't really pay attention. So I'll go over a couple just to show you guys. When you are watching a video and want to scroll through to a different section, you can now double tap on the left or right sides of the screen to fast forward or rewind for 10 seconds. If you want to tap multiple times, it will speed up naturally without jumping too far. You can also swipe up from the bottom here to show you all of the recommended videos that show up for your specific account. Now up until today, custom playback speed was only on the desktop version of YouTube, but now it's on the mobile versions. So if you wish to change the playback setting, head over to the top right hand corner of the video that you are watching and click on the three dots and that will open up a menu at the bottom. Click on the playback speed and you can adjust it to how you like. So those are some changes to the new and updated YouTube app. I'm really excited to see changes across the board with all app developers and for the YouTube app specifically, I think that it was time for an update and hopefully this isn't it and they have more in store for us. If you want to check out the desktop version, just head over to youtube.com and of course you'll get to experience that new look on the desktop platform. So thank you guys for watching, it's been great sharing this news with you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends who might be interested and don't forget to subscribe for some upcoming content. So stay tuned and I'll catch you all in the next one.